how's it going, everybody? You hear it all the time. You gotta take action. Take action. Go do it. Just do it. Take action. Gosh, I, you must have heard me say if you follow the 1000 Challenge page or you've heard me talk before or you've worked in with me before or done one of my programs, you had to have heard me say take action, do it, just do it, go for it at least more than three and a half times. And sometimes we still don't. Now here's the thing, and this is what I want to share with you all today is I want to plead with you all to avoid allowing the action you take to be in action. Yes, inaction is an action, which means the failure to act becomes your action. How many of you, as you're listening to this, can you remember a time that you wish you would have done something and you had the opportunity to do it, but whatever set in, fear, second guessing yourself, the excuses, I can't because of this, if only that came up. And the opportunity passed by. And then you swore to yourself, I'd never do that again. If I ever get the opportunity, I'm going to go for it. And then opportunity pops up and what happens? You still enact. You don't go for it. And then with time, that becomes routine, doesn't it? Meaning that every time an opportunity comes up, every time there's a chance to grow or to expand yourself or to try something new or take that vacation or go up and introduce yourself to the person, you don't act. Because inaction has become your action. As I'm talking to you and to explaining this, you might be thinking of some times, perhaps your memory is just allowing things to flood back right now. All the times or the key times in your life where you didn't act. Maybe you're having memories or flashbacks of what you missed out on or thinking about where you could be right now had you have acted in the past. Perhaps you wouldn't still be in pain. Perhaps your business would be a little further along. Perhaps your relationship would be a, more, a little bit more solid. Who knows? I imagine that you do, or at least you could hypothesize about how things might be if you had acted in the past. Don't let inaction become your action. And as you're thinking about this, and if this is resonating with you, if it's connecting to you, I'm hoping that it's starting to bring up some ideas of how you can act. Areas in your life you can take decisive action on now and going forward that would radically change it. Perhaps there's an area in your relationship you could work on. Perhaps it's time to hire the coach for business. Perhaps it's time to finally join the gym. Perhaps it's time to finally do those things that you've been saying you need to do, but you haven't done because inaction has become your action. If one of those things is popping up, if something is resonating with you right now, what I ask you to do, what I plead, what I plead with you to do is this. As soon as this video is over, I want you to turn it off and I want you to immediately take action. Don't sit, don't think about it, don't go, well, gee, gosh, golly, good, good goodness. Maybe I should. Just do it. The smallest of actions you can take, you take towards something you want, will add up with time. And pretty soon, the more you take, whether it's a small step or it's a monster step, your habit, your discipline becomes that one, one of acting. And an action will be a thing of the past. I know that taking a step forward, about taking action, about going after what you want can seem scary. I know that sometimes it's, it's uneasy to make a financial investment in yourself. I know that sometimes we don't always have the answers. And what I also know from the actions I've taken in my own life, from the clients who I've seen take actions, to, gosh, I don't know how many other people, somehow, when you're willing to take the action, when you're willing to go for it, somehow, some way, it always works out doesn't it? It always works out. We may not know how, but one thing we do know for sure is if we fail to act, we run the risk of staying stuck, of never moving forward, and always living a life filled with more of the same, more of what we don't want. If you want something more, your action needs to become that of action. If you don't want to change, if you want to keep all those things present in your life that you don't want, then your action of inaction can remain the same. You guys, it's, you got one life to live and you have all the opportunity in front of you right now to act and move towards it. Take those steps, make the decision, take that action. Do what you can to move forward now. And eventually by taking enough steps, by doing what you can to move forward, you're going to end up right where you want to be. 
If not, you're going to end up right where you are. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please share it. Make sure you give it a like, a little thumbs up, and I'd love always to hear what you think. So leave a comment below. I look forward to reading them and responding to them soon. Okay, we'll see you next time.